Story time. English. Bison the Journey. Chapter 2, The Start of the Journey. Buster's heart raced with excitement as he left the Great Plains behind him. He had always wondered what lay beyond the grassy fields that had been his home for as long as he could remember. He wanted to see new places, meet new animals, and discover new things about himself. As he walked further into the wilderness, Buster couldn't help but feel a little nervous. The landscape around him was changing, and he was starting to feel a little out of his depth. The grass was getting sparser, and the ground was becoming rockier and more uneven. The sun beat down on him, and he could feel the heat rising from the ground. Suddenly, he heard a yip and a howl. Buster froze, thinking that he might have stumbled into a pack of wolves or coyotes. But then he saw a small, skinny coyote trotting towards him. Hey there, big guy, said the coyote, grinning up at Buster. What brings you out this way? Buster relaxed a little. He could tell that the coyote was friendly, despite his scruffy appearance. I'm on a journey, Buster replied. I want to see what else is out there beyond the Great Plains. The coyote nodded. I know just the place to start. Follow me. Buster fell into step behind the coyote as they headed further into the wilderness. The coyote led him through rocky terrain, over streams and through thickets of brush. Along the way, the coyote chatted away, telling Buster stories about the different animals and plants they might encounter on their journey. Buster listened with interest, feeling more and more excited about what lay ahead. As the sun began to dip towards the horizon, the coyote stopped in front of a cave. Well, my friend, this is where we part ways, he said. From here on out, you're on your own. Buster felt a pang of sadness as he said goodbye to his new friend. But he also felt a sense of pride and determination. He was setting out on a journey that would test him, challenge him, and perhaps even change him. Thanks for everything, Buster said, extending a hoof to the coyote. I couldn't have made it this far without you. The coyote grinned and shook Buster's hoof. Don't mention it. You're one brave bison, and I have a feeling you're going to do great things out here. With one last wave to the coyote, Buster took a deep breath and stepped forward into the unknown. The coyote watched as Buster disappeared into the distance. He had been impressed by the bison's courage and determination, and he couldn't help feeling a little sad that their journey had come to an end so soon. But then he shook his head and smiled to himself. Who says it has to be the end, he muttered to himself. With a burst of energy, the coyote bounded after Buster. He caught up to the bison quickly, and the two of them continued their journey together. For the next few days, Buster and the coyote roamed through the wilderness side by side. They explored new territories, met new animals, and shared stories and laughter along the way. Buster felt a growing sense of gratitude for the coyote's companionship. He knew that he could never have made it this far on his own, and he was glad to have someone to share the journey with. As they rested for the night, the coyote looked up at the stars and smiled. You know, Buster, he said, I think we make a pretty good team. Buster chuckled. I was just thinking the same thing, he replied. And with that, the two of them settled in for the night, knowing that whatever lay ahead, they would face it together.